Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today we're back in Giannino Valente's Torella de Lombardi vineyard here in Tarazzi, Italy. And I want to talk a little bit more about how we get to this absolute beautiful expression of Alianico. So when we think about growing wine grapes, it's a year-long labor of love. Of course, we're doing all the pruning in the winter time. But as we get to bud break and we start to get foliage on these vines, the next thing we need to do is manage the canopy. We want to make sure the canopy is not too heavy, that it provides cover to the grapes, that water and moisture stays in between the grape globes and we get mold, mildew, and rot. So good canopy management helps make sure that the grapes stay dry as the wind blows by. Also, when we think of beautiful grapes, we think of the age of the vines. Older vines naturally produce less fruit. Younger vines will overproduce fruit, but there's a certain amount of years before they produce anything that we'd want to use in wine. So if we think about a newly planted grapevine, we would think it would be somewhere between five and seven years that the grapes themselves would be of high enough quality to produce wine. This vineyard that we're in right now, these vines are about 15 years old and the grapes are producing beautiful fruit. So we also think about what is this vineyard's attitude towards the sun? When we think about having the grapes collect the most amount of energy that they can and funnel that into the fruit itself, we want to have a vineyard that faces south, southeast, or southwest. But notice the common denominator there is south. When the sun rises in the east and sets in the west here in the northern hemisphere, we get sun all day in this vineyard. And a lot of places like we have here in Italy, we'll see the vineyards on the south side of the hill and olive groves on the north side of the hill because they're balanced out properly. Also, slopes are very important. You probably can't tell, but where I'm hunkered down is on a pretty steep piece of real estate. And that's important because you want these vines to have to struggle to get every bit of moisture that they possibly can. When we're on a slope, water goes from the highest point to the lowest point, and these grapevines need to put out very vast roots to try to collect up as much nutrients and as much water as possible. So all of these factors contribute to the quality of the grapes that are gonna end up in your wine glass. So please continue to stay with us, stay curious about what makes a great wine great, and come back next time, because soon you'll know wine in no time.